Hi again everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Kathleen and this channel is called Woman Walking Away. I have not, I just uploaded a new video but I had actually made it a while ago, uh, six weeks ago, because I went on a six week cross Canada road trip with my sister so I haven't been able to upload and I really had expected to be able to. We had a lot of camera problems on our journey. So, and, and just general Wi-Fi, connectivity, camera, I like everything. Lots of problems <laughs> in the tech uh, arena. So I wasn't able to upload, which is unfortunate, but I have a lot of ideas backed up for all of you. So I'm really excited uh, for the next little while because I think that I'm gonna have some time to really uh, dedicate to making new videos and editing them. Um, so I guess today's video is just going to be a bit of an update, what you can expect from me, what's coming next in my life, and how that can impact you uh, as radical feminists, as lesbians, as uh, readers, if you are uh, into reading, um, and just viewers of this channel. So the road trip was, I went with my sister, it was incredibly inspiring, I can't even describe. We, we left from Ontario, we drove all the way out west to um, Vancouver and Vancouver Island and we uh, camped in Pacific Rim a National Park, not quite in it, um, because it was full and we had to sleep in the car. And then we drove all the way out east and uh, crossed the ferry to Newfoundland and then there we uh, camped in Gromon and Terra Nova National Parks. So it was, this, it was sort of a... Uh, backpacking, camping, and sleeping in the car adventure. So we slept in the car probably as often as we can, which is fine and saved us a ton of money. Uh, and it was really quite an adventure for both my sister and I, and I came away with it with a really, with a new understanding of, I think, uh, what I meant to do and how I meant to use my skills. So we'll talk about that in, a, in another video, but for right now, uh, I, I love to see that my channel is going amazingly, that's so exciting. I have um, more subscribers than I would have thought. I would love to do a 500 subscriber giveaway. I have a lot of radical feminist books. I was actually just given, uh, I was delivered to my mom's work was uh, two huge boxes of books. So I have a lot of cool radical feminist books that I would love to pass on. I will give you a choice of whichever ones you want. I have plenty. Um, so yeah, so if you can get me to 500 subscribers, I guess I will try to find a way to... You know what, I'm gonna have to find a way to like get people to enter into a draw or something like that. And then once I hit 500 subscribers, I guess I'll draw from it. I'm gonna have to think about that <laughs> a bit more. Uh, so other exciting things coming up are I finally I, I finished the second round of editing from my novel and this novel is just over a year old now and it's uh, very special to me and a very very much a, um, a work that I connected with and that I poured myself into so I would love to get that out there. I'm looking into self-publishing, maybe create space on Amazon, I don't know, I hate Amazon and all those, you know, giant corporations that are soul-sucking and destroying the planet. I want to make it so that it is accessible to all women. I want to make it so that it's by donation. So I have a, I have a couple ideas that I'm going to kind of play out here and see. Um, but it's about uh, a young woman who uh, is addicted to crack and she has been sort of forced into prostitution by her boyfriend uh, who owes a drug dealer a lot of money and this drug dealer comes barreling into their lives, uh, and the, the drug dealer is a butch lesbian um, who has her own history of addiction and trauma, and it and then uh, you know it culminates, the the beginning of it culminates with the uh, assault and, and probable uh, death of the boyfriend, uh, and then the two women uh, work, begin to work together and then fall in love, and then it's it becomes this sort of uh, both of their arcs of sobriety and recovery and um, addressing their traumas and how they, you know, they're codependent and they trigger each other and it's so it's such a challenge. So it's really, an, an, I, I loved writing it um, and I hope that, you know, when it's out there that you will all love reading it. So if you have any ideas on how to, next steps for me, I would love to hear them, let me research uh, what you have to say. 
um, so that hopefully I don't have to do as much work as I know is ahead of me. I also have a few other novels in the works. Uh, one that I got uh, probably three quarters of the way done, two thirds, uh, the novel writing marathon that I just finished uh, in a couple um, a couple months prior. And um, that one is about a yeah a lesbian who is a radical feminist activist but also environmentalist and how um, her, her activist group doesn't necessarily believe in her uh, feminist mission but she meets this other woman who very much is supportive of this but there's a huge plot twist um, in which I won't give away although I'm so tempted and if you want to hear a little bit more about my writing process and how my writing ties in with backpacking I would love for you to check out this interview that was done with me at my local radio station. I will put a link to that in the description. And so that's that's where I am with the writing. I'm really invested in the writing right now. I have a lot of stories that I want to tell and a lot of ways that I need to say things. And that's where I'm going to be focusing my energy for the next little bit, as well as these YouTube videos. So a very creative space for myself right now. And winter is very much a hibernation time for me also, so I'm really hoping that I can I can find balance in all of these things that, that I love to do and that I feel like I need to do and that I'm called to do. And, you know, I also have a lot of blog or um, post ideas, video ideas that came to me on my journey, like why, you know, men should not be allowed to camp, <laughs> first of all. Uh, but probably, you know, will come out more like why we need women-only spaces for camping because nothing would have made me happier, I assure you, I'm sure you can imagine. So, so yes, so this is an update post, so I hope that you um, are okay with that. I'm going to do that sometimes and it's really, really good to be back. I'm very happy. I'm in an amazing headspace right now, which I'm so grateful for and, you know, my friends and family have received me back with such joy and such open arms and such, um, you know, just this exchange of power that I'm so excited to build on because I think there's so much uh, that needs to be said right now and I know that we all have things that only we can say and that we need to say because we're the only ones who can say it that way that's going to connect with some other woman in that time that's going to foster something in her that she can then share as well so that's that's where I'm at I'm spreading the love and the joy because I am nothing but a pillar of light obviously <laughs> um, and I'll talk about the trip in more detail I have an idea of putting sort of a inspirational book together about it where I take, like I journaled every day and then I take sort of a theme from that day, like whether it's resilience or adaptability or peace or um, resolve or something like that and then I write um, almost a parable on with using my experiences and then pairing it with a photograph and making that sort of like a coffee table book or something. So, some creative things happening for me right now, which is fantastic. Um, so, thank you so much for watching this update video. If you have any questions about what's coming next, I would love to hear. If you have comments or suggestions, I know I was away for a while, um, that disappointed me. I hope it did disappoint all of you. Please, um, please understand that I am a human being who tries her best, and I know that most of us are. So... Um, yeah, so thank you. Oh, thank you for the comments and everything that I came back to and that, that I've been able to communicate with some of you who are watching because you all have really cool things to say and, and I'm drawing on that energy and I'm reinvesting it and thank you, you know, for, for even watching the, the five minutes or whatever that you have time for in your busy schedules and commenting all that is so amazing, awesome. And, okay, so I guess that's it. Thank you so much. You can find me on Instagram at Woman Walking Away and um, my website, womanwalkingaway.com and then um, Twitter, which I am sort of using but not too, too much, is Woman Walks Away. 
So that's my that's my spiel. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Super helpful. Let's get to 500. I'll figure out the giveaway. Or maybe I'll just give it all away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read them first. I haven't read every single book that I own. Obviously, no one has. <laughs> okay. It's good to be back. Thank you.